When you're working on a dream, at some point in time, a transition takes place. And the transition is, is what you are becoming in pursuit of the dream. Because even if you don't get the dream, you become such a strong and powerful person, it will so change your life, you can look at something else and say, well, I think I'll go do this then. Because you have now developed yourself in such confidence and such competence in how to deal in the arena of life that you can move into another area and not miss a beat. Once you begin to discover who you are, then you really realize how you have been given authority and dominion over everything on the face of the earth, including all the dimensions of your life. But you can only do that through the struggle of life. And most people avoid the struggle. Most people go through life avoiding pain. And when you go through life like that, something in you dies. Something in you that you never activate is lying dormant in there that you never get a chance to call on because you have not challenged yourself. Somebody said, the land of familiarity belongs to the dead. That most people like to feel like they're a king in the area of their comfort zone. They only want to do those things that they know how to do well. Osborne said, unless you attempt to do something beyond that which you've already mastered, you will never grow. So if you want to begin to grow, you've got to put something out here that you can't reach easily, that has got to make you stretch, got to make you jump for it, got to make you get back a little bit and dig in so that you can take a leap for it. And maybe you jump up there and you miss it and you skin your knees and you come back again and you bust your lip next time. But you keep on and through that process, you learn how to leap higher. You start challenging yourself to dig deeper. And then you discover some things about you that you don't know right now. Some talents that you have in you that you didn't know that you can do. I started out just talking to kids. And now I'm speaking at corporations. Now I'm traveling. I didn't know I can do this, but had I not given myself a chance. And I'm saying to you, give yourself a chance. Here's something else. If you want to begin to make your stuff happen for you, I think that it's very important that you start trusting yourself. Listen to yourself. Listen to that still small voice within you. Don't try and make everything logical. There are some things about life that defies logic, that you just can't explain how the outcome is going to be. I think that's why Paul said you've got to learn how to walk by faith and not by sight. That once you begin to trust yourself, in your ideas, in your instincts, life takes on a whole new meaning because now I want you to do that feeling that you are led. Just feel, I am led. And don't give your power away. You don't need anybody to approve your dream. It was given to you. If they can't see it, it's because it wasn't given to them. It was given to you. Hold it, nourish it, cultivate it, work on it. It's yours, it's your baby work on it until it comes into fruition. I gave away my power and I said, I'm not going to do that no more. Here's something else for those who make it today. Do what you know is right. Treat people like you want to be treated. Don't try and take any shortcuts. Don't try and cheat. Pay your dues up front. I believe, ladies and gentlemen, what goes around comes around. You can pay now, or you will pay double later. So, do the right thing. There might be a tendency sometimes, because of the negative part of our consciousness and our own programming, for us to want to say, well, I just do it this time. It won't matter, won't nobody know. Ladies and gentlemen, everything matters. And you know you're somebody, you know. I'd rather lose out on my dream doing the right thing than the cheat trying to make a shortcut to get to my goal. I want to be able to look myself in the mirror. And that's what you want to do. There's no saying, judge a man not by what he does, but by that that he doesn't have to do. And to judge a true quality of a man is what do you do when nobody's looking. See, there's some good out there for you in the universe that has your name on it. And nobody can get your good. It has your name on it. They can't take your stuff. It's your stuff. So when you know that, when you know that whatever you're seeking, it's also seeking you. You don't worry. You don't run scared. You don't think somebody's going to take it from you. You listen.
listen to your inner voice and you always take the high road. There will be the tendency, the natural inclination to take the low road. You must resist that. Here's something else I encourage you to do if you want to make it today. Keep your agreements. Keep your agreements that you make and establish a network of people who will also do that. Establish a network of people in your life that you can count on, that will be there for you when you need them, and you be there for them. Leave the flakes alone, people that are seriously not serious. And if you're surrounded by flakes, that tells you who you are. Here's something else. Three Ps to have in your life. In working on your dream and doing your life work, you must be patient, persistent, and positive no matter what. Be positive no matter what, because when you are negative, ladies and gentlemen, you're sending out negative energy and you're blocking your good.